Hey, hey, ladybugs. Let me pin my website. And we will get started. Okay. Boy, no. Okay. Let me share my own. And then we will get started. Let me share. Make sure when you hop on, say hey, let me know you're there. Drop a thumbs up something. And don't forget to share so you can get into the drawing. Hey Meredith. Girl, I need to get a hold of you too. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's get started. Playing with this month's kudos, of course. Cover myself. Okay. So, let me get out my primer. Y'all know we're going to start with a primer. I got a complete bare face tonight so I can show y'all. Normally, I have eyeshadow on or I have um, mascara or something like that. Today, I don't have on anything. Hey, Gladys. So, we are starting from scratch. Hot mess, hot mess. Okay. Always, always, always start with your primer. That's going to help your makeup last all day. It's going to help it stay on longer and not, like, stick into your, like, fine lines, wrinkles, pores, all that kind of good jazz. And it only takes a pea-sized amount. These have seriously been the only two I've had since last January. Not this past January, but last January. This is all I've had to use. So, a little bit goes a long way because you really don't need a whole lot. And that's one of the options you get in this month's kudos. So, you can choose between the kudos. Between the kudos. Hey, Denise. You can choose between a primer and concealer. So, you pick one of these, primer or concealer. Then you get your shade in the liquid foundation. And then you get to choose between the liquid foundation brush, powder puff brush, setting spray, or setting powder. So you get to choose one of these, one of these, and this, all in this month's kudos. So it is like an awesome deal. You're basically getting the foundation for a dollar is what it is. Okay, so we've got our primer on. Y'all know ideally you let your primer sit for like five minutes, but for the sake of this video, we ain't gonna. Okay. Wait, what color is that? All right. So, remember the liquid foundation is mineral-based, so you're gonna wanna squeeze out the dropper and shake it really, really, really good and then use it. If you don't, you may end up with very liquidy makeup. So, just give it a good old shake. Now, I personally, if I'm going to choose between these two brushes, I'm going to go with this brush. I'm going to go with the powder puff brush because there's just more options available for it. You can use it with powder, cheek blush, foundation, conceal, uh, not concealer, bronzer. You can use it with setting powder. You can use it with almost everything. This, on the other hand, you can just use with like concealer or liquid foundation and it's about the extent of it. But you do get to choose between one or the other. Hey, April. Thank you, love bug. So... I'm going to use my powder puff brush just because I like it better. Actually, you know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use the powder concealer brush. I'm just a bigger fan of it. And I want to use the powder puff brush later with powder. So, I don't want to get any liquid on it. Okay. So, you don't need a lot. Usually, about four drops will do you. Then, just dab it and blend. And tonight, I ain't got to worry about messing up my mascara because I ain't got any on. And just blend it all in. You see how fast this stuff blends in and how much it covers. Now, if you want to mix a little bit of concealer in there, you could do that. If you felt like it just gives you like a better coverage, you could do that. 
but I personally think I get a good enough coverage without it. Sometimes I'll spot conceal, like if you have a little breakout or something like that. I'll do a little spot concealing first. Mmm, feels good. And it dries to like a powder finish, a matte finish. So it's not heavy, it's not cakey, it doesn't like seek into your creases and pores and make you look about 10 shades of crazy by the time you're done. Okay. So bam, you see how fast that happened. Let me move this. I feel like I need to get a little bit higher. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so that's your liquid foundation. And y'all know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little bit of, actually, let's do our brows first. I didn't even do my brows yet, y'all. And I wanna show y'all, I use two things to do my brows, but you don't have to. I like using the brow pencil and the brow palette. Only because I don't have a lot of brows, it makes them look more natural that way. And it doesn't, I think sometimes when people use just like the pencil, you can kind of tell it looked like they drew them on, you know? Hey, Monica, thank you. So I kind of take a pencil and do it like microblading. And kind of just like jerk up with it and make it look like tiny hairs. And that seems to like blend it in a whole lot better. I'll make some sharp lines and then like comb over them. So see how it's starting to really form that brow? And then I'll go over it with the brow palette. I don't do as much towards the end with the pencil, but I mean, already look at the difference. Hey, Ashley, brow, no brow. Pretty hot mess. Brows are a must, ladybugs. And then I go in and I take the brow palette and just kind of like dab over it just to fill in any areas that didn't have a lot. And that finishes off your brows. Look how much difference that makes between doing your brows and not doing your brows. And you can make this as dark or as light as you want. When I first did the brow pencil, the brow pencil comes in light, medium, and dark. I use the medium. And then to go over it with the brow palette, you can choose blonde, brunette, or brunette black. And I use brunette. I think that's as dark as I need to go. But using them together kind of gives you like the perfect brow. It doesn't look drawn on. It doesn't look fake. It doesn't like you just took like a crayon and drew on your forehead. I mean, already a big difference. And then finish it off with your um, eyebrow palette. And if you get the palette and you don't, either you don't want to buy the eyebrow artist brush, which is the one I'm using, just make sure you use an angle brush and it's going to make it like so much easier for you to be able to put on. If you use anything square, it's, it's not going to be as, I think, neat. Big difference in doing your brows and not doing your brows. Brows is a must -ist, ladies. A must have. Okay. So, oops, I'm caught. There you have it. Your brows is dead. Super fast, super simple, super easy, and it helps if you can put the cap back on. Hey, Joyce. Hey, Ladybug. About the brush. Wait, the eyebrow artist brush? That's the brush I always use with the um, eyebrow palette, but I always use the palette and the pencil to get my brows where they are. Now remember, if you're just hopping on, make sure you share. That's gonna put your name into the drawing and you could be winning something for free, so make sure you share. Thanks, Gladys. Yes, ma'am. Eyebrow Artist Brush. And if you guys want to get anything, my link is pinned below, but if you PM me or check my VIP group page, unless you've already gotten a message, because I tried to message a bunch of girls when I got home today, 
You're gonna catch a deal I have going on, so you're gonna make sure you jump on that. Okay, so remember, in this month's kudos, you choose between primer or concealer, your shade of liquid foundation, and then you choose between liquid foundation brush, powder puff brush, setting spray, or setting powder, one of these. So you're basically getting a trio to a flawless face. But remember, if you didn't get a message from me and you're interested in something, message me because there's things I can't say on this video, but I will tell you. And then if you want to take a hold of the deal, you can run with it. If not, A-okay. Okay, so we got the brows did. Let's do a little highlight and contouring. And you can highlight. I think if you're going to choose, and this sounds horrible, but if you're going to choose between primer and concealer to get this month's kudos, I would go with concealer. Only because... There's so much you could do with concealer. You can spot conceal, you can highlight, you can contour. There's so much you can do with it. You need it to bake under your eyes. So if you want to choose between the two, that's definitely the one I would get. And then if you want to know my opinion on the two brushes, I would go with the powder puff brush. That's my personal preference, obviously, to each their own. Just remember... If I didn't message you, PM me before you buy anything because I don't want you wasting money, if you know what I mean. There's deals going on in the VIP group that I can't talk about on here. But, if you check it out, you might just find yourself happy. All I can say. Okay, now spray a little bit of rose water on your blending bud. Thank you, Kaylee. And that eyebrow artist brush makes life a simple when you're doing your brows. It makes it like where everything just comes out even, I guess. And now we just highlight them. And you don't have to. You can use a um, a powder, like a light powder as a, as a highlight. You can use the contour stick, which is still available right now, where you get the contour in one end and the highlight in the, highlight in the other end. You could use that. Y'all know I've totally been going for that the past week. All up in my face. Okay. Um, or you can use a lighter foundation. As long as you use two shades lighter and two shades darker, that's what you use to highlight and contour with. You don't want it to be the same color as your foundation. And it'll look a little bright when you first get going, but it all blends out. Now, when you highlight underneath your eyes, like what I'm doing now, if you're somebody who suffers from like discoloration under your eyes, um, baggy eyes, like purpley, veiny, anything like that, this is going to help you with that because it's going to hide it and conceal it for you. So, a super must. Okay. Now, for my contour, you can use, I'm going to use the sculpting stick. I'm going to use the medium sculpting stick. Just a little bit easier to work with. So you're gonna look a little like a warrior. And that's how you know you're doing it right. Now I do use the foundation brush to blend that in. Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. Mm. Yeah, I'll use the foundation brush and blend that in. You can also use the contour brush which is a highlight in and a, and a contour in, but we'll just go ahead and use the foundation brush. Out of all the Duet products, I would have to say, and the Duet products are the ones that came out last month, I would have to say that the contour stick or the sculpting stick is probably my favorite. Only because for like a week and a half, I used it as concealer, and I'm talking about this, I use it as concealer, foundation, highlight, contour. I use it as eyeshadow. Like, there's just so much you can do with it. And y'all know me. I'm always game for something that I can use in more than one way. Because then it's almost like you're getting a better, like a bigger bang for your buck type of thing. And blend it all out. 
And you don't have to highlight or contour at all if you don't want to, but I think it does make a really big difference in the look of your makeup. Okay. Good enough. Ain't gotta be perfect. Let's see. I'm gonna bake under my eyes while we do the eyeshadow. And baking, all it does is like fill in those fine lines and wrinkles underneath your eyes and makes it more, it makes it smoother so your makeup doesn't fall into the creases. It kind of sits on top. But if you use powder before this, like a um, powder foundation or something, you can't bake. You have to bake on top of foundation and concealer or it won't work. But you can also use it just to set your makeup or set the um, highlight. Now, if you've ever ordered any of my mystery glam bags, you've probably gotten one of these tiny little ones, which is like perfect for this. Oh, Kaylee bug. Kaylee bug. They're there. Trust me. They are present. And I try my best to get rid of them. Okay. I'm going to kind of let that sit for a minute. You at least want to let your baking sit for like five minutes. Hey, Jules. Thank you, love bug. You want to at least let your baking sit for, if you can, about five minutes. Usually what I do is I'll do my baking, and then I'll go ahead and do my eye makeup, and then I'll come back to the baking and clean it up, and you're usually done by that point. I do. I never, ever use a dry blending, a dry blending bud, ever. It doesn't matter what... Um, application you're using it with. I always spray it with rose water and never use it dry. If you use it dry, it just soaks up too much product and um, you end up just wasting it because it like sucks down into the sponge. Okay, put on a little bit of cheap blush. I'm going to use sweet. And then we'll blend everything in when we wipe away the baking. So we're going to look kind of cray cray for a minute. I'm going to put on a little bit of bronzer. Just kind of up there. There. And that goes a little better. And that's the powder puff brush. And I'm telling y'all, this is probably one of my favorite face brushes because it's just so versatile. You can do so many things with it, especially powder, liquid foundation, um, setting powder, bronzer, cheap blush. You can use that with almost like any product you have. Eyeshadow. Let's do a fun eyeshadow. I'm wearing my black and gray. Which, what did we name this one? Cruella? I think we named it Cruella. What shadows? You know what? I'm going to do a pink in the background. Let me get the duet eyeshadow out. I want to put this pink as the... um. Um, transition color. Get a mirror. I'm going to put that kind of all over. I love pink and gray together, pink and black together. I think it just goes like perfectly. And then we'll clean it all up. These are the colors... I'll usually wear it by theirself too. Like if I'm just trying to get ready super fast. I always use a pink. I think it just makes your eyes look bigger, makes you look brighter. Almost like you tried to look decent. Okay. Good enough. Now we gotta go with a dark color to smoke it out. Let me move this stuff out of my way. Oh, okay. Now let's pick a color. I'm gonna go with Shrewd, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Shrewd, which is this top color right here. We're gonna go with that one. And I'm going to use 
my crease brush. First, I'm going to go back in with the pinky color and put... Ah! I'm going to do it. I'm going to smoke out under the eye. We'll blend it away. And when you blend it out and a little bit getting rid of this baking, it'll come, it'll blend in better. There you go. Smoke it out underneath it. And I'm going to do a little bit of that gray. And go with my hair. And just smoke it out. And these are just the pressed shadows. Oh, y'all, my leg is going to sleep. Okay. Okay. And then just bring it on down. There we go. Smoke it out. I love, love, love smoking out a pinky color eye first. So you go on with that pink color first and then kind of smoke it out and give it that darkness. And then if you have to, you can go back and bring out that pink color a little bit more. But I think pinks and grays go phenomenally well together. And a good little trick, if you like your, your lighter colors throughout the first part of the day, wear the pinks all day long. And then if you're going to have to go from a daytime to a nighttime look, slap on a little smoky eye. And you don't even have to wash your face and redo everything and waste all that time in makeup. You can just slap on a smoky eye on top of it and you'll have a brand new look. That always happens, Jules, and it never fails to that if you go out of the house, like if you didn't want to feel like getting ready and so you just like walk out of the house thinking, oh, I'm just going out to the store. I kid you not, that's the day you run into like 50 people you haven't seen in 10 years. But you walk out their front door looking like you're fixing to enter the beauty pageant, you won't see a single soul you know. It's how it always, always happens. Always happens. Okay, finish smoking it out. I love these press shadows. They're gorgeous. Okay, you know you always have one eye that does better than the others? It's not that one. I think we're good. Let's put a little highlight in the middle. So y'all know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the um, deluxe brush. That's this one. And we're going to put a little highlight on the end. I love the one that came with, or didn't come with. It's just part of the new releases a couple months ago in the spring colors. It's called Gentle. It's this one right here. Absolutely am in love with it. In love with it. Spray a little bit of rose water on there. Just to where it's a little bit wet. You don't want to like sopping. And then dip it in there, and it's going to bring that color to life. It's going to be like magic eyeshadow, I'm telling you. If you just put it on without it being wet, it's not as bold. See how it's just, it's really bright now? Oh, we didn't do my trick either. Oh, well. I'll have to do it later. And you'll have less fallout, because I will tell you, any eyeshadow that has a shimmer to it, it's going to have more fallout than an eyeshadow that doesn't. It's just, I think, the way that they're made with any product, I mean, has nothing to do with the name brand. Just has to do with, I think, the glitter and shimmer that's in them. It's kind of blended out. Okay. Right. Mm hmm And see, and I do want to darken up that pink now. Now that we got it all out, And just kind of blend on top. Get rid of that harsh line, but at the same time, you're adding just a little more of that transition color. Way better. Hey, Katrina. Girl, didn't I say hey already? Or am I seeing things? Okay, so let's 
I'm gonna take that same brush. I feel like I got some harsh lines going on right here and that ain't cute. Now we're gonna take a little bit and we're gonna clean all this up in uno momento, por favor. Okay, so we're gonna take a little bit of Scarlet Concealer. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and I love using this as a highlighter underneath my brows. I think it's just, I like it better than an eyeshadow. Plus, we can also use it to clean up anything if we have to. So just kind of dot it on there and blend it out. And it looks just like if you took a light eyeshadow and used it as your highlight. See how it just lightened that up? It looks just like eyeshadow, but I kid you not, to me, it works so much better. I don't like a lot of shimmer under my brows. Especially at my age, I think it ages you. It makes it look like I'm 40 going on about 15. So, I like the concealer trick. Now, before we do our eyeliner and mascara, let's sweep away the fairy dust and get rid of those fine lines and wrinkles. Let's just get rid of it. And you just wanna lightly sweep it away and blend it in. And it just, it may, gives you more of a uh, flawless look. I love it. Now, if you don't have time to like bake, by all means, you can skip it. But um, you can still set under your eyes, your highlight, you can still set it with that setting powder. And I'm gonna use that leftover concealer to clean up my eyeshadow on the side. Perfect. Love when a plan comes together, ladybugs. <laughs> the lander out. Bingo. Okay. Done with that. I'm going to put on, I think we're going to do, hmm. Oh, we need our white eyeliner. Ooh, ladybugs, I about set my finger in my eyeshadow. And this is just going to make your eyes look a little bit bigger, more open. It's going to blend in with the white in your eyeball. Anytime you wear, whew, my eye went blurry. Anytime you wear a smoky eye or any dark colors, use the white liner in your waterline and it won't make your eyes look so small because dark eyeshadow will make your eyes look smaller. And nobody wants little teeny bitty eyes if they can help it. So that's just going to kind of open it up. And your eyes won't look so tiny anymore. Okay. Let me get this concealer off the back of my hand because it will end up on my clothes in a matter of minutes. Okay. Remember, if you're just hopping on, don't forget to share so you don't miss out on winning something free for you. Liner. I'm almost skipping liner again. I get ahead of myself. Let's do some a liquid. I'm going to use the dip and draw, the black dip and draw. And we'll do a little wing. Let's get a little creative. Okay. Now, y'all know I can't talk a lot when I'm doing a wing liner. Now, remember, this is an easy way to do your wing. Draw the line up top. Act like you're going to do your bottom liner, but really draw the line up. And then blend it in. Draw like a, a side triangle and blend it in. And then just color it in. And you have a wing. Every single time, ladybugs, it works every single time. Let me draw you in. Hold on. So see how you got that wing? Works every single time like a charm. Plus this brush makes it super easy because it's like so long, like a marker. And then just blend it all out or blend it down into the liner.
It's always like easier to do one side than the other. There we go. Wing. A little overkill. Thank I ever killed that side. Uno, uno momento, por favor, let me clean this up. Yeah, let me clean this up. Let me put some rose water on this. All else fails, use a little rose water. Perfect. Bam. Easy to fix. Easy peasy, love bugs. There we go. Much better. I did see a trick. I'm going to tell you about a trick I saw on YouTube or something where somebody took like a credit card. Like, pretend this was like a credit card. Held a credit card and then drew the line and it helped them kind of like put an outline for their wing. So, I've seen that. That turned out cute. We need some more cheap blush, ladybugs. I need some more cola. There we go. Okay. At this point, you can do your lashes. Let me put this up. Get this stuff out of my way for end up tossing it on the floor. Because y'all know I have accidents all the time. Okay. Throw in a little bit of mascara. Basically, I just want to show you all the kudos. I mean, look at the flawless coverage. Alice World Amazing. I'm telling y'all, they don't call it Photoshop in a bottle just to give it a nickname. And this month's kudos is phenomenal. You get everything you need for a flawless face. You get to pick between, you pick one of these, the concealer or primer, pick your shade in the foundation, and then you could choose between the powder puff brush, liquid foundation brush, setting powder, or setting spray. So, primer or concealer, foundation, and one of these, bam, you have the flawless trio. And you will be looking a glam walking out your front door or sitting and watching TV, whatever you want to do. It is the best. The best. I feel like I need a little bit, a little bit more light. Woo, cuz. Okay. I think my highlight needs to be a little highlighter. I'm my own worst enemy when I do my makeup. Okay. I love these colors together. Love them. And if you're a fan of a darker eye, just smoke it out a little bit more. It ain't, it ain't gotta be, everybody's different. Let's do a lip really fast. Y'all, let's break out my favorite lip liner of all time. My favoriteest, my mostest favoriteest uh, lip liner ever. And what's good about these um, liners, whether they're pencil eyeliner or pencil lip liner, they don't smudge. Once you get it on, that bad Johnny is not going anywhere for quite a little bit. So that's what I love about it. If you're gonna go somewhere that has, um, like say you're gonna be going on a date, or you got a dinner to go to, or a banquet, somewhere you're gonna be eating and drinking, use lip liner as your entire lipstick, and then maybe put like a light color in the middle. I'll, I'll do it like, do it like I'm doing now, and it'll last throughout the whole meal, because lip liner is hard to, like it lasts for a while. <gasps> Gladys girlfriend, make sure you're using it at least once a day, every day. And take a before and after. So this is pompous. One of my like umpty most favorite lip liners ever. So I'm gonna show you a trick. This is what you need to do on date night. You got a date night coming up. Maybe it's a blind date. Maybe it's with your honeys, something, a business dinner and you need that lip to stay all day or all night or all dinner, whatever. Do this. Okay. 
put your liner on like just the line. Take lip balm bomb. If you don't have a lip balm bond, use some type of lip moisturizer. Put it all over. Then to go back to your lip liner and fill it in. And you see how smooth it goes on? Love this color. Love it. Then, if you want to light it up, so somebody's going to be thinking you're wearing lipstick or you're wearing gloss or you're wearing a stain, something like that. All it is, love bug, is some lip liner. Love it. And then take, um, Illuminizer. Not that one. Not that one. Maybe this one. This luminizer here, let me wipe it off. I use the cream to powder luminizers that look like this as lipstick all the time. They're perfect. Take it and kiss the middle of this. And just kind of tap it in. And it's going to make it look like an ombre lip. There you have it, ladybugs. Mix the two together. Works every single time. Wipe off your luminizer because you would hate to actually put that on your face as luminizer and get lipstick on your face. That won't be cute. It won't be cute, ladybugs. And then use a little highlight, which I'm gonna use the same color eyeshadow I have on the back, on the inside highlight, which was this color here called Gentle. Came out with the spring colors. And let me get the contour brush. I'm gonna use the highlight in. And get a little shine going on. Get a little shine, which highlighting or luminizing is perfect in the summer, especially if you're going to like a bonfire, a cookout where you're going to be like in the sun because that sun's going to gleam off your highlight, especially if you're trying to impress a certain somebody. It'll work. Love it. And don't forget to blot. I just did on my towel a second ago because you don't want to be on that sweet date and get lipstick all over your teeth, okay? That's not cute. Uh, Debating whether to put on mascara. Y'all know what mascara looks like. It would tie the whole look together, but let, let's put on a little bit. We'll put on a little bit of mascara. Oh, my. Oh, it. Okay. Let's throw on. Why is that over there? Let's throw on a little bit of a mascara. We don't put this stuff up so I don't throw it on the floor. Okay. Throw on some, throw on some lashes. Let's see if I can do this like I always see. Other girls can do their mascara from far away. Yeah, I can't. I tried. I can't. I have to do my mascara close up. Oh, I didn't use rose water first. I always use rose water first. What was I thinking? And I'm not going to put on a lot. Just enough so we get the gist of what it looks like. Now, if you really want a long, super long lashes, throw on the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. That's going to really do you in. They look like falsies when you're done, but yeah, you didn't have to use a drop of glue. Not a drop. Let's do this side. Normally, I would put it on a little bit darker, thicker, but we ain't going to try to full off cells. You know, when I get off here, I go straight to the bathroom and wash my face because I'm going to bed.
going to be good enough. I get so meticulous and picky about my mascara that I don't really like to do my mascara live too much because y'all would literally rather watch paint dry than watch me do mascara. I would rather watch paint dry than watch myself do mascara. It's horrible. That's why when they came out with the lash serum, because I was having to use the 3D fiber lash every day. When they came out with the lash serum, y'all, I was in freaking heaven. Because I needed my lashes to grow and get thicker. So I wouldn't have to use the 3D fiber lash every single day. And now I don't have to. I usually just use this Epic Mascara every day. And then if I want to take it from like a daytime look to a nighttime look, or I'm going out to a, a party or a get together, I'll throw on some 3D Fiber Lash on top and make them thicker and longer. And that changes the whole look. But on like an everyday basis, I just throw on the 3D, I mean the Epic Mascara. And that's it, love bug. A little setting spray on your face so it lasts all day. Close your mirrors first because I just got it all over my mirror. And bam, your kudos made a flawless face. Give myself a little accolades here. You get that. But that's it, you guys. Do not forget. Make sure you're in my VIP group. Do not go buy something and not check out my VIP group first or you're going to kick yourself in the you-know-what by doing that. So check it out first. And this month's special, remember, is you get to choose between primer or concealer. If I had to pick, that's what I would go with. You get more out of your more for your money out of this one. Thank you, April. So primer or concealer. Your choice in the liquid foundation. And then you get to choose one of these. Powder puff brush, liquid foundation brush, um, setting spray. Or setting powder. So you get to choose one of those. So one of these, one of these, and one of these. And that's the, the kudos going on this month. But like I said, make sure before you make the purchase, go to my VIP group and check out the post that I made in there. You may already know it if I'm, I private messaged a lot of you before I came live. Um, if you didn't get that private, private message, check out the VIP group because I just haven't got down to your name yet. Um, or private message me, hey, April, what are the deals you have going on? And I'll tell you. I just can't announce them on here. And that's it, love bugs. That is it for our Wednesday night glam. We are all beautified now. As close as it's going to get. And then if you need any help choosing any colors, I will be more than happy to help you pick out your colors. And that's it, Ladybugs. Hope you like the look. I'll be back tomorrow night. Um, probably. Oh, my normal time is this thing. Bitches. Okay. That's it, Ladybugs. I love y'all. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to go to the link pin below and check out all the products that Unique has. Unique is all chemical-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, hypoallergenic, ophthalmology tested and approved for any type of skin, not tested on animals. Smudge proof, sweat resistant, water resistant, you name it. That's what unique products are. There's a love it guarantee. So if it's not your color when you get it or you don't like it, it's broke, whatever. We just report it back and they'll send you a new one for free. What else? Unique is just that awesome. And if you want to join my team, if you want to try to go to Cancun, there's still a month and a half left to earn it. If you want to try to get you some extra summer vacation money, that new car payment money, whatever the case may be, I would love to have you on my team. I have a couple of training groups that I put you in. It's not interactive. You don't have to do anything. It's just where I post my like helpful stuff for you and train you. You can do one-on-one -on -one makeup videos with me. Um, if you need a little bit of training so you can sell it, but I'd love to have you on my team. I want to try to set two more girls up this month on my team. So if you've been thinking about it, it gets you a discount on your own makeup plus the commission every three hours for any sale or purchase that's done through your link. So it's a lot of good jazz. You can always go to the link pin below. Ooh, my the link pin below and hit join. It doesn't mean you're joining. You would actually have to fill something out. But if you hit join and scroll through it, it'll tell you everything about it. And then obviously reach out to me if you have any question whatsoever, whether it be about joining or about a product, whatever. I am always here. It's part of my job. Um, but I love y'all and I will see y'all tomorrow.